If you want to move around to different radar sites, those are navigation buttons. Pushing the button to the west will bring you back to the central Illinois radar. If you just want to take a bigger view overall, you can scroll down below with that. And here down below, let's just go over here. I don't know where, where I'm going to, but we'll find out in a moment. Okay, this is the southern Mississippi Valley view. So I thought I saw some precipitation down there. Maybe that was just an old image because as I look at this, there's nothing going on down there at all. So apparently nothing's taking place there. But again, if you want a bigger picture view, you can take it from that perspective. And you can also put those into looping mode as well. Storm Prediction Center right now, it looks like across the country, there's a few storms that are developing out in the heart of the country there. Uh, that yellow arrow is a representation that there's a slight chance that there could be some possible significant weather there. Let's take a look here. That's an outlook area there. No watches in effect. A mesoscale discussion, so there must be something going on up in South Dakota that they think needs uh, is worthy of writing about. And we can go ahead and actually click on that and, and find out what in more detail they're going to talk about by scrolling down to the bottom below that. And here's their more detailed picture. And then by clicking on this here, that will actually bring up the word of discussion about that area and what their concern is. And actually, there's the picture blown up. And, and directly below that will be their discussion on uh, what they think is going on in the area and why there's a reason for concern. So tons of information on the internet. You know, it's simply a case of, of finding what you like and maybe bookmarking those favorite three or four or five or six or seven or eight or nine sites. Okay, well, been a long night and a great night and a great day of weather tomorrow, just like today. So certainly get out there and enjoy it. But you know that you know severe weather season is just around the corner. And what you've learned here tonight, you're going to probably apply at some point in your future. Uh, so I do want to thank you all for spending a couple of hours of time with us tonight and the Monroe County Amateur Radio Club for, as usual, you guys hosting this. Greatly appreciate the efforts that all you guys provide year in, year out. You're one of really our great examples of, of how a spotter operation should work. So, so thanks so much for your time.